welcome to another episode of Blooms for You. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for being here. Oh uh, yeah, Cousin It is not with us today. He's fine. He will probably throw a strop, which is something that I'm going to have to deal with if he throws a strop. Hope he doesn't hear me that I'm giving him any ideas. But if it's going to start pouring with rain very, very soon, I need to make sure that I hustle all the equipment inside and then I've got orchids all over the place. And yeah, moving cousin it is a bit complicated at the moment. He is enormous. So just my Dendrobium hippiki and my beautiful Prostechia Garciana alba right here. To say thank you to everybody for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for supporting Ninja Orchids with your view. I really appreciate it because in this series, not everybody is going to be named. So these blooms, are there dedicated to everybody that is not named here today while I fiddle to see if that's a mealybug because Hibiki is slowly starting to fade. The emphasis being on slowly. But my goodness, this orchid has definitely provided me with great, great intros. <laughs> I'm just making sure that that's not a mealybug because now the last of the pests are still trying to make an impact. And yeah, so they're still going for the blooms. They also can recognize their season is coming to an end and they still want to have a piece of my blooms. So long story short, Dendrobium hibiki, Prostechia garciana alba. Thank you very, very much for being here. These blooms are there for you, for you to know that you are recognized. Let's go and see what the other clips have on offer, whose names came up in this episode. And depending on the day, we're going to see sun, maybe hear some breeze, maybe hear something beyond the hedge. Now, let's go have a look-see. Frog fan. <laughs> something green, maybe, with a name like that. Frog fan. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. Really appreciate it. And I'm going to say thank you via my eighth bloom of Sologeny Lime Bay for the year of 2021. Bloom number eight to you to say thank you very, very much for your support. Much greener than I remember her the last time. This bloom has also been open three days. It's like there's all the different facets of colors, but at this point in time, she is much greener than I remember her last time. No fragrance anymore. That dusty room fragrance is gone. But still we're counting. Bloom number nine is already showing its face. And what you see here is bloom number seven because after I filmed it the last time to dedicate it and say thank you for your support to that person, I snapped the bloom off. <laughs> oh well. It sped up the progress to get bloom number eight opened up. And it's getting more and more hard, cumbersome to film this orchid as the spike is getting longer and longer. You see, <laughs> the plant is up here now. The bulb is starting to form. I still don't have a second growth. That nubbin is still the same as when we saw her the last time. There is no movement on that front. The breeze isn't helping any either. But frog fan, I do hope that you get my point, that you see this video, and that you know how grateful I am for your support on my channel. I'm not gonna try and break her off this time, but let's get her into position. Look at that. Always so exciting to see this chocolate detail in that lip. Very, very bizarre. But that is just remarkable. I love. I love this orchid. I love the blooms. The fact that they're coming so back to back also makes her fun to have around. And yeah, frog fan, thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. My Sologeny Lime Bay, the eighth bloom, the greenest it's ever been. I thought this would be perfect for a name like yours. Really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Good life number one, Brasso Lelio Catlia, good life number one, maybe just Brasso Catlia now, good life number one, I do not care. When I have three blooms to give away today, two Muppet 929, Rocco's Fish Room, and Princess Katarina Keira. The three of you, one bloom each, 
Thank you so much for being here on my channel. Thank you very, very much for your support. It is very much appreciated. And as I look at these blooms, I can't help but try to stay focused because this nose always gets me and it can induce fits of giggles. <laughs> look at that nose. Look at the size of that nose. Oh, you want to stick your own nose in there and smell it. Well, when you do, you will only get a fragrance of plastic. That's it. Chunya Good Life is impressive, has massive blooms and is a reliable bloomer. I have never had three blooms though, so that is a gorgeous surprise. But yeah, look at the size of the lip. That lip is at least eight centimeters wide. Incredible. Absolutely incredible, but doesn't, I mean, nature comes around and goes around, doesn't it? I know people that their noses have that kind of a form. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, very big orchid, but needless to say, a ray of sunshine in this season when the fall is coming, a cold is being anticipated, and at least she stays in her pot. That is something I have to give her. She stays in her pot, she's not all over the place. But yeah, what a show. Maybe I should step back a little bit because then you can see the full scope of what I'm talking about. There we go. Sorry about that sun. There we go. Tilted a bit. Yeah, that's, that's a big display, I would say. The blooms are massive, not just the lip, but it is the lip that is the striking factor here. You can't look at the whole bloom without the lip being in your face. Never mind that nose. So Muppet 929, Rocco's Fish Room, Princess Katarina Keira. Just touching that bloom has got me full of sticky happy sap that is all in the back here. Oh, okay. Well, to the three of you, my Brassocatlia Chunya Good Life number one. One, two, three. One bloom each. To the three of you to say thank you ever ever so much for your support on my channel let's get in there one more time because there is happy days in here it does make you feel like growing orchids is good life <laughs> yeah thank you so much to the three of you really appreciate you i hope that you are all doing well and enjoying whatever season that you find yourself in right now. Skippy B and Liza Vare or Lisa Vare, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Liza Vare. Anyway, the two of you, Skippy B and Liza Vare, I'm gonna stick with that one. I have a gorgeous spike of Dendrobium antenatum to dedicate to you too, to say thank you for your support here on my channel as well. Really appreciate it. And I'm also very appreciative that my Dendrobium antenatum is going bonkers. Ta-da, there's more coming. <laughs> Goodness me, these blooms have lasted a very long time. And I'm saying not just these blooms, but here's the spike that bloomed earlier. Just three blooms, but it was a teaser, a taste of what's to come. And yeah, here we are now. The spikes are starting to form the way an antenatum should. And I thought Skippy B, you might enjoy these blooms because Skippy B sounds very cheerful and happy to me. And we know that antelopes do a lot of skipping and jumping around. So that's why I thought maybe I should just put this bloom to your name. So I hope that I didn't make the wrong choice. Liza Vire, same with you. I think that these blooms are something of a theater style show. And that reminds me of Liza Minelli. So that's when I thought I'm gonna give Liza Vire this spike as well, so that the two of you are trying to fit names to blooms that somewhat match accounts when possible. Now, finally, I can experience the fragrance of this orchid. It is the sweetest honeysuckle ever. And I'm saying honeysuckle as in not just your nose in it, but you are bathing in honeysuckle. You have to get up close, but once you're close to the blooms, it is intense. And I am expecting it just to get stronger and stronger. The better this orchid starts to grow and mature. Very, very beautiful, very, very pleasant. 
when I'm sitting at my desk and there's a breeze coming in, I can smell her as the breeze carries that fragrance to me. If I'm walking by her, same thing. And then you stick your nose in and it's like, yo, that is intense. <laughs> Very beautiful. And needless to say, despite the blooms not being super big, I think they are gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've been looking for proper antelope type dendrobiums for a while now. I'm still missing the samurai. I really want me a dendrobium samurai. I thought I bought one. It turned out that it was mislabeled. So I am still looking for a samurai, but I'm going to wait until I am guaranteed a samurai because they are not cheap. But you can see as well, I know I'm babbling, but look at this. There's more spikes. As I'm filming, I'm see I've just seen these two here. Oh, we will see a lot of dendrobium antenatum. <laughs> well, I'm not complaining. So thank you so much, Skippy Beam and Liza Vire for your support on my channel. You are very, very much appreciated. And my first proper spike of dendrobium antenatum goes to the two of you. What a pleasure to put my Epicatante Xiangyu Gold Coast into the viewfinder once again, this time for an Orchid Ninja. Tropical Plants Finland, thank you so much. You are officially an Orchid Ninja. Doesn't mean that you weren't before, but when it comes to my channel, now you are officially an Orchid Ninja as per definition of my channel. So I've got my Epicatante Xiangyu Gold Coast here in the viewfinder. And I want to send you these beautiful, bright, sunny colors here from southern Spain all the way to Finland. Doesn't mean that you don't have sun there, but I'm sure it gets darker much earlier where you are than where I'm down here. So lots and lots of rays of colors of sunshine up there to you, because in your last video, I saw the beautiful sunshine coming in from your window. But maybe you're watching this at six o'clock in the evening and it's already dark and ta-da! sending you some sun via my Gold Coast and to say thank you very, very, very much for your support, for becoming an Orchid Ninja. Really appreciate it. And I hope that what you see behind the scenes, well, you're still here, so it hasn't turned you off. <laughs> thank you so much. My Gold Coast has as yet one bud to open, but I prefer to show my blooms when there is still a little bud to open because that means all the other ones are fresh as well. And as I've never had 18 blooms in total, goodness me, how long is this going to last? And I don't want them to get ruined. So one more bud to go out of 18. But just know, Tropical Plants Finland, that this Gold Coast, she blooms for you. Doing my best Japanese bow to say thank you for your support. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Yes, I know, she is pretty. No, you haven't seen her for a long time. That is true because she hasn't had a spike for a long time. So I thought you might like to see her now and make up for the lost time between the two of you. Cousin, it, seriously, but we have to get on with it. I have to dedicate this spike to two people, which I would like to say thank you to via my Arangus Mr. Sidiai to Rafa Galan and Jen Rodriguez. Thank you to the two of you, muchas gracias, for your support here on my channel. Really appreciate that you're here and really appreciate that you watch my videos and well, maybe you don't comment as much, but we do speak via other avenues, so really appreciate it. Thank you, Rafa Galan and Jen Rodriguez. Right, let's get into the orchid a little bit. And let me tell you why I am only dedicating this spike to the two of you. And I'm just going to exclude this go around here. <laughs> it wasn't quite successful for me to get this spike also to bloom as beautifully and in harmony as the other one. This orchid does need its care every once in a while and I do have to flush it and deal with it and check it for pests. So when I moved it around, one time these buds here were still in their teeny tiny tadpole stage, much smaller than this, and promptly it objected and I had bud blast. So my little spike here is not as pristine, but if you look at this one back here, <laughs> 
Oh, I love the symmetry of this orchid. So yeah, here I had one bud blast right at the top. However, the buds were already this size right here, and that's why they held on and it wasn't so bad. This year, my spurs are much more peachy in color than I ever remember, or it's just a memory thing. Very, very beautiful. And I can smell her at night when I'm working at my desk, seeing as she is nocturnal in her fragrance. And then I get this waft of jasmine together with the La Dama de Noche that is currently blooming outside by the hedge. The size of the bloom should not be underestimated. Her fragrance is very, very obvious. And I know that Cousin It is appreciating the view, asking me about the fragrance. It's a beautifully powdery jasmine fragrance. And the closer you get, there is a little bit of a kick of citrus. But it's definitely very, very obvious, no matter how small these blooms are. Absolutely love the structure of the spike and how perfectly everything aligns. Look at this. Just have to marvel at the perfection of what nature can do, one after the other. Very, very beautiful. So, Rafa Galan, Jen Rodriguez, estos flores son para vosotros. Muchísimas gracias por apoyarme aquí en mi canal. Agradezco mucho, mucho nuestra amistad y espero que todo va bien. Mientras que las temperaturas bajan. No. No, 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 a mí tampoco me gusta temperaturas bajas. Anyway, estos flores son para vosotros. So as I was setting up the camera and the position of my beautiful Neo Stylus Loose Neary, because you can see, oh, I think I'm going to lose three buds. Anyway. As I was setting her up, I actually saw mealybugs. I think that was a mealybug. I don't care. Thinking is not knowing. Straight in with the garlic alcohol. I may lose the buds anyway, but oh well. My goodness, I am so sorry that that happened. I wanted to dedicate my spike, my second spike of 2021, from my loose sneery to Lover's Kiss and Claudio Carminati. To say thank you to the two of you for your support on my channel. Ah, it's a breezy day. It's a breezy day. Oh, goodness. I hope that you can still see how beautiful these colors are. I'm trying to protect the mic from the breeze. I was going to wait another day before filming, but when I saw this this morning, I'm like, nope, I'm not going to wait. I don't know what the weather conditions are going to be like. We are expecting rain. <laughs> day two, still expecting rain. It was supposed to be pouring down. So I don't know what's going to happen. It's too risky. Seeing those yellow buds, I don't want to miss out and dedicate these to Lava's Kiss and Claudio Carminati. After all, unexpectedly, my loose neary actually did grow another spike in the season of 2021, which is really, really surprising, seeing as everything else was ever so late in the season. So it managed to do that. And for that, I'm very grateful. It has this beautiful, beautiful citrus fragrance, very, very pungent citrus fragrance. Not so much today because it is a cloudy day, but if you get in there close, even on a cloudy day, that fragrance is very, very obvious. Very, very pleased to have this happen, especially out of the blue. Speaking of blue, I hope the color is coming through. Let's see, yep, it's true on the viewfinder. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Neo Stylus Luce Neary for Lovers Inc. and Claudio Carminati to say thank you, thank you. And grazie mille, Claudio, for being here and supporting my channel. It's very, very much appreciated. My apologies once again that these didn't make it. Yep. Double checked, and there was a mealy bug up in that little crevice there, and signs of a little bit of sooty mold on a petal. So, no thank you, go away. Just take care of that. The longer my blooms last, the better. 
So I've lowered the viewfinder a little bit to say thank you. Really appreciate having you here. If you have any questions regarding any of these orchids or what am I doing with this Blooms For You dedication, well, leave me a comment in the comments below if you've never done so. You will then go on a list that I have, comments and subscriptions that I can see, they go on a list. And then eventually there is an orchid that comes up, your name comes up, the orchid's in bloom, and I match the two of you together. And that is the purpose of this series, to get to everybody eventually, individually, to say thank you to you for supporting my channel, for being here, for leaving me a comment. It is so very much appreciated. It is very difficult for me to say just how much because it could all come across as a little bit dramatic. But that is true. Every view, every comment, and if you make yourself known and have never commented before, let me know in the comments below that you are here, that you are watching. On the list you go, eventually there will be a bloom for you. Hope that you are having a great, great fall, late fall, as we head into winter. I hope that I can continue to bring some kind of color and interesting content into your life on the daily. Maybe depending on what the orchids are doing, that will peter out throughout the winter and it will become every second or every third day. But for the time being, I will continue to post daily. Lots going on, lots to talk about. Your requests need to be fulfilled. Yes, personal requests are still out and about. I have not forgotten, still got that going on. This is just to let you know that even though the weather is deteriorating, I'm hoping that my channel will not follow suit and that I continue to be able to do this with you guys. And that is why blooms for you are so important to me. Tagging a bud, tagging a spike and matching it to a name on the list. Thank you for being here today. Yabiki and Encyclia Garciana Alba, they bloom for all of you. Have a beautiful, beautiful day on one condition. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.